Hey guys, Adam here from Guru Gamers, and today I'm going to be doing a full review and comparison of Lightcam versus Fraps. Now, I have both the full version of Lightcam and the full version of Fraps just to show you the difference. Both do offer free versions, but I'm going to get into that at a later time through the video. So, if you haven't heard of Lightcam before, don't worry about it because I hadn't heard of it until yesterday. But if you're watching this video, I assume that you have heard of it. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is because I wanted to see what the quality of Lightcam was like compared to other recording programs such as Fraps. When I went to search for that on YouTube, there were no Minecraft comparisons. There were some comparisons for other games, but as you know, Minecraft is obviously a little bit graphically different to a lot of other games. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do one for Minecraft, Lightcam versus Fraps. So here we go. So I am recording in Lightcam using the Lagerith codec, which I know is kind of a little bit of a cheat because it's not the codec that comes with Lightcam. Um, the reason that I'm not using the Lightcam codecs is because they did not work for me with Minecraft whatsoever. There was the closest one that I got was the MJPEG something something VPC maybe something like that. That was the closest that I got, but it turns out that you can't import that into Sony Vegas. And I tried downloading a load of codecs and nothing was working. So I decided I would just get the Lagerith codec instead. Also, I am using stereo 16 bit 44 kilohertz audio with light cam and 30 frames per second now on the fraps side i'm using the standard fraps codec because fraps does not offer codecs whatsoever i'm using stereo sound there's no other customization for that either and i'm recording in 30 frames per second now if you quickly look at the comparisons there's hardly any different right so how do you choose which one to go for? Well, of course, you look into the features and the price. And we'll start off with the features. Obviously, I've just explained that Lightcam uses codecs and you've got a lot more choice over the audio. But what else does it do? Well, let's start off with what they both do. Both of them obviously record games with computer sound. Now, that's great. Lightcam sound is a little bit quieter, but that's obviously something that you can edit in post-production. They both offer dual audio capturing, which means that you can record from more than one source. For example, your PC game audio and your microphone at the same time, which is a very nice feature indeed. They both offer custom FPS and FPS limits. Now, Lightcam only goes up to 100 frames per second, not that you'd want any more than that. Fraps does offer you the chance to put in your own FPS in the box. I'm not sure if there's a limit on that, but there we go. They both offer shortcut keys, so you can use Control F8 by default on Lightcam to start recording, and F9 by default on Fraps to start recording. And there's a whole other load of shortcut keys that you can get as well. They also both offer mouse capture, so if you want to capture the mouse on the screen, you can capture them. Now, Fraps only has mouse capture, you can't do anything else with that mouse. Whereas Lightcam actually has some optional effects, such as when you click, when you left click, when you right click, you could have some different colours appear on the screen and it's very nice. So what doesn't Lightcam do? It must have something that it doesn't do, which I believe is screenshots. There is an option called Capture in Lightcam, but it didn't work. I couldn't get it to work. It didn't do anything. It, you know, it's, it's very strange. It, I don't know why it didn't work, but obviously with Fraps you can take the screenshots. Now in Minecraft you can take screenshots anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. But if you were playing another game, then that could be a problem for you. So let's move on to what Lightcam offers that Fraps does not have. Lightcam offers pre-production editing. What does that mean? Well, you can put text, you can put images, you can put a whole range of stuff on the screen that you cannot do with Fraps. You can even put picture in picture so that you can have your camera directly on the screen without having to post-production edit. Very nice indeed. What else does it have? Well, apparently it has video conversion. However, when I tried this out, I couldn't get it to work. It kept crashing. So, you know, that kind of doesn't go very well for it. But then again, it is another feature that Fraps doesn't have that may come in the future. Obviously, as you saw at the beginning, Lightcam has some audio format settings where you can choose different audio formats. 
which of course is lovely. Lightcam also offers some select area recordings, so if you want to just record part of your desktop or part of the game, I don't know why you'd want to do part of the game, but yeah, you can do that with Lightcam. With Fraps it has to be in a specific area. Of course you can do the desktop, um, but it has to be the whole desktop, it can't be a certain part. Preset video size is another thing that relates to the select area recording. With preset video size on Lightcam, you can select a size you want for the video so that you don't have to guess whether the area that you're selecting is 16 by 9 for example for a YouTube video. Lightcam obviously has its own video codec settings as well, which means that you can download third party codecs which is what I've done today. Unfortunately the codecs that came with it don't work particularly well with Minecraft. Hmm. Lightcam also offers some audio feedback, which means that when you press record, some lovely woman says record. It's a bit creepy at first, but it actually helps me. It, it does make sense. And it also tells you when you are able to record. If you click on Minecraft, it will say recording available, which is cool. You can turn that off if you don't like that feature. So let's talk about the video size. With this particular video, using the codecs that I used, Lightcam came in at 10.4 gigabytes, while Fraps came in at 13.8. Now I know there's not much difference there, but if you record a lot of videos like I do, you can't really notice the difference in quality. I think it's pretty good, to be honest. You know, you're just losing that 3 gigabytes, if not more, depending on the size of your video, and the codec that you use. I think it's worth it, to be honest. So do both of these have a free version? The answer to that is yes. With the Fraps free version you are limited to 30 second clips of course. With the Lightcam free version you will have a watermarked logo on your screen which isn't very nice but if you want to try it out you can do so and then you can buy it after that. So buying it, what's the price? Hmm, what is the price? Well Fraps comes in at $37 or £24. Lightcam comes in at $30 or £22.50. Those are the actual online prices, that's not a conversion of price, that is their actual online prices. So as you can see Lightcam is a little bit cheaper. Actually in England it's only £1.50 cheaper, so you know it <laughs> depends on your preference I guess. If you're in America it's $7 cheaper. Yay America! So finally what about ease of use? Well Fraps is a little bit easier to use in my opinion. It's straight out of the box. It only has four tabs where everything is on. So that means that you can just flick through the tabs, you can set all the settings and it's lovely jubbly. Lightcam is a lot more customizable, which is nice if you want to be customizable, but if you just want to get it out of the box and start recording, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. As most of you will know, Fraps displays the FPS in the corner of the screen, which can be nice. Lightcam displays the FPS, your limited FPS, and the shortcut key options such as record and pause and stop and all of that lovely stuff. However with this you obviously need a bigger overlay which is kind of annoying. You can't disable these features. You can either remove it or you can move it if that makes sense, but you cannot make it smaller which would be a nice feature. So overall I believe that Lightcam is a pretty good contender to Fraps. Within Sony Vegas, I cannot see a difference. If you can see a drastic difference on YouTube, then, you know, you can obviously make your own choice. But for me, watching this video right now, I cannot see any difference whatsoever. Apart from the fact that Lightcam has a lot more features, it's a little bit cheaper, and it uses some nice third-party codecs so you can choose which codec you want to use. So that's it, guys. Leave a like if you did enjoy the video. I'm going to leave you watching the rest of this video so that you guys can make up your own decisions. And of course, thanks for watching.
think of the word quick enough. I knew it was a squiddy type thing. Gosh, why have you got a hat though? Oh, I'm in the top two, I'm in the top two. This is going well. I'm going to head over here, in the middle. Yellow over here. 